Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, we are going to take a look at what is the best buy between the Ao Ming and the Arthur. So uh, recently, I started to notice, you know, this question pop up quite a bit, um, especially during my live streams and also in the comment section under, you know, some of my videos. And the question is, you know, should you get an Ao Ming or should you get an Arthur? Which one is the better Titan? Uh, you have 700 Platinum saved up and you want to make the right purchase, okay? So... I figured, you know what, let's do a video on this and I'll try to answer these questions as best as I can. Um, keep in mind too that this is my own opinion here. Um, you know, I know players are going to disagree with me on some of these things, but I'm going to offer you, uh, you know, based on uh, my experience playing uh, these two at max level, uh, which one I think is the best value uh, for your Platinum. And, uh, you know, also keep in mind too that uh, other than running it at max level, I've also tested it out at level 75, and uh, on my own baby account, um, I do have uh, the author at level, I think it's 7 or 8 now, but I did run it at level 3 or 4, so I can give you my feedback uh, on that as well. Okay, so a couple of things here first. Let's take a look at the store. Okay, so the store, as you can see, uh, the arming costs 700 platinum, so when you purchase it, you get uh, you know, machine guns for it. But the thing is, I found out uh, when I was uh, testing out different builds and stuff for the Ao Ming, uh, the rocket setup and the Dragoon setup were the strongest. Uh, there were some hybrid builds uh, like the Vengeance and uh, Rupture, which worked really well. But uh, keep in mind too, you would have to purchase uh, you know, those two extra weapons. Or in the case of like the rocket setup or the Dragoon setup, uh, that's four new weapons. Uh, on top of that, you have to upgrade that. Then you have modules and you have to upgrade your Titan as well. So quite a bit of upgrading and, uh, you know, with the Platinum that we have in the game right now, uh, where, you know, we can't really get that much of it uh, other than you purchasing it with uh, money, um, you got to think about that as well. So unless uh, you are, uh, you know, willing to spin, I don't think that, uh, you know, I would personally go towards the Ao Ming. And there's a number of other reasons as well. Okay, so first of all, I found that uh, with the Ao Ming, if I'm dealing with like a leech, uh, one thing that the Ao Ming really has going for it is it has four weapons. So it has a lot of firepower. Uh, the problem though is that, uh, you know, if a leech gets really close to you, your ability is heal. So really the only damage you can do uh, with the Ao Ming is using the vengeance weapon, you know, if you had to drop down. Uh, the other thing too is low keys. I've uh, mentioned this before. Okay, so if there's a low key out there, you don't have quantum radar, so you can't, uh, you know, take out the Loki. The other thing too is if the Loki's on your home beacon or, you know, one of the beacons, you have to land. But the problem is <laughs> your ability is repair, so you can't do damage to a Loki either. Uh, the style of play of this bot is more of a hangback bot. Uh, there are maps uh, such as uh, Carrier and I guess, um, you know, Castle, uh, maybe Dreadnought map as well, Canyon, where you can exploit certain areas of the map uh, using this bot. So, you know, that's obviously a good thing. Um, but when it comes to pushing beacons, you can't really do it with this bot. Uh, you got to keep in mind that if you are kind of playing it aggressively, trying to go for a beacon and you land, you can only use your two weapons here, the top weapons, okay? Uh, you don't have a physical shield, you have resistance, but if there's like three guys around you within like say 100 meters, uh, range of you, you can't do damage to multiple players, only the one that you're firing at. So you have to think about that as well. So yeah, keep in mind, upgrade costs, uh, you have four weapons uh, you have to think about and um, you know, your style of play as well I think is also important. And uh, yeah, when it comes to the uh, Arthur, okay, so the Arthur is 450 Platinum and uh, with this one, you get these weapons which is uh, basically the machine guns and what I actually tried out um, I tried out the Dragoon setup and I tried out the rockets and even like combinations of uh, the saw and the retaliator you know I tried out all different kind of combinations with it uh, rockets and machine guns and I always come back to the setup which is the basic default weapons you get when you purchase your Arthur so you got to think about that. <laughs> you don't have to purchase new weapons. You can use that, uh, you know, extra platinum or whatever to upgrade these weapons or your modules or your Arthur. 
The other thing too is it has a physical shield which is really strong and uh, you can also do damage to multiple players within a hundred meter radius. Okay, so that's uh, the ability here, the blast wave or as I call it the death fart, <laughs> which is uh, very effective. So for example, let's just say there's like two or three leeches that are attacking you. You would put your shield up and uh, if they are within like a hundred meters and you use your blast wave, you're going to do damage to all three leeches, uh, which is uh, great. And you can do damage with your weapons as well. Um, you know, the author is very good at playing aggressively. You can actually push beacons with it and uh, you can also hold it down, which is great. Uh, the other advantage is uh, sometimes there's a player that's either like above you, uh, you know, um, you know, they're on a platform above you or, uh, you know, below you, like on moon map, you can actually do damage to them through the floor, through the ceiling, uh, through walls, which I'm going to show you in some gameplay as well. So, you know, overall in terms of cost, I actually find the Arthur a better value uh, Titan when compared to the Ao Ming. Um, it doesn't have as much firepower, but you know what, it makes up for it uh, with the Blast Wave, uh, which is a lot of fun to play uh, with as well. So, uh, you know, that's pretty much my, I guess, lowdown or, you know, bottom line when it comes to, you know, comparing the two Titans, um, you know, which one offers uh, that kind of value. Uh, the other thing too that I should mention as well with the Arthur, um, if you're dealing with a Loki, okay, so you don't have quantum radar, but if a Loki's on your beacon, you can use the blast wave and it will send them flying backwards <laughs> and it also does damage to them. So you can definitely hold down beacons, you can get rid of uh, Lokis, um, you can push beacons aggressively, you have a very strong shield and uh, on my baby account, which when I ran it, I think at level 3 or 4, I actually broke my damage record after the second game of, uh, you know, actually getting my Arthur. So that's always a plus. And, yep, I think what I'm going to do now is actually show you some, um, you know, footage of the Alming in action. And I'll try to explain, you know, some of the weaknesses and strengths of it. You can see it in the gameplay as well as the Arthur. So let's uh, jump into that footage so that you guys can see what I mean. Okay, so I've just dropped in with my Alming here. I'm going to try to see if we can get this to work. I'm uh, not going to fire at this guy, we're going to fire at him now. Take him out this way, he's used a phase shift. But uh, that's only temporary because he's not going to be able to block this. Let's do this. And no! There we go. So you can see when he was actually advancing on me, I had to kind of retreat a bit. Uh, this guy has uh, used his uh, shield. If I can get him now. So you can see what's happening. I can't kind of hold down my ground here. I have to retreat. And in this case, I have to just drop down. Uh, otherwise, I'm going to take on too much uh, damage. Can we get this guy. It's going to flight here. Maybe I can get some splash on them. Retreat, heal up. <laughs> I can't do anything about this Ares here. Except now. There we go. But I've taken on actually quite a bit of damage too. So you have the uh, firepower. The only thing is you don't really have the defense. You have heal. But it's not like a lot of heal. So let's try to heal up here. Let's see what happens. Um, and now we have this uh, Ao Jung, so I have to retreat once again. And this guy's gonna back me up all the way back here. Trying to get him down to his last stand. So there we go, last stand triggered, and if I can hit him now, take him out. Can I do this? So you see what, what's happening here. And when this happens, um, I can't use my ability to deal with these guys on the ground, like multiple players. I can only use my uh, alpha weapons. So uh, there we go. Oh, come on. Yeah, he went into... Oh, here's, here's a really good example, actually. So I can't take out... 
this uh, Loki unless he gets out of his stealth. And if he's on my beacon, I can't kill him. So this is what I mean. So is he going to move this way because I can't do anything if he does? <laughs> That's the big downside to the Ao Ming. Gonna heal up here. I can't really attack here until this uh, Mercury, or not Mercury, Fenrir takes that Loki out. Okay, so I'm gonna move forward here and see if we can perhaps check out this uh, Arthur. And yeah, I can't really advance once again, so I'm gonna heal up here. And when I'm like this, I don't have a physical shield, so he can actually do quite a bit of damage to me, as you can see. I can get him, there we go. I had to kind of time my shot here, so I could take this guy out. Get him down to his last stand. And he's just used a phase shift. He's almost out. There we go. Bit of lag. Ah, uh, this is going to be bad for me. Got to wait for that shield to drop here. So here's the thing. So you see what I mean? Like, I can't get aggressive. I can't push for that beacon. The only way I can get it is by clearing these guys out. And uh, they should be taking me out here. So yeah, nothing I can really do here. Okay, so I've just dropped in with my Arthur. And I'm going to show you why I prefer the Arthur over the Ao Ming. So with this guy down below, I can use the Death Bot or Blast Wave uh, to take care of him. I can also use the Arthur to aggressively push a beacon. So you know, if my team needs a beacon... I can uh, definitely push into... Whoa, did you see that? <laughs> the uh, the author used the death bot, as I call it, to push that. Looks like a phantom or something that was there. And um, we do have an owl junk flying this way. So let's just do this. Should be landing here soon. We can try to shred him up. And he's taking a lot of damage. If I can get him... At least uh, lose a weapon here, that would be nice. Yeah, let me just move on over to uh, this side here. We also have a leech. Uh, this way here, if I can stop him from getting that beacon, that would be nice. Let's do this. And if I can stop this guy from getting this beacon, that would be nice too. Okay, so we have this Arthur up top here. Let's see if we can perhaps push this beacon. I'm going to use the uh, blast wave here to get this guy on the other side. Uh, which is another thing, you know, that I really like. Uh, some maps. Okay, so there's a leech up. So here's another example. So this leech, I can do damage uh, with my weapons or if I get within range. I can do damage as well. So this guy even on the other side of the wall, you know, I can push him back. He hopes I can get this uh, beacon here. And I can use my ability again. I don't know if he was close enough, but I might have done some damage to him there. Um, we're going to use the ability now. So you see what I did. I did damage to a guy that's on the other side of the wall here. And I held it down. And there's an Alming in front of me. So let's see what happens here. So this guy can't push a beacon at all. So we shredded him up. Um, see someone behind. And in the case of like this player here firing, you know, pulsar weapons at me, I can use the uh, physical shield. And now let's try to push this other beacon here on this side. Gonna use my shield. Use 
use the ability. Let's try to push this uh, beacon here. And if this guy was in a Loki in front of me, so he's not going to uh, get close, at least I don't think he is. Yeah, he's keeping his distance, so he knows. And that's the thing, you know, with this uh, bot. So if I get close enough, like 100, let's do this now. Let's see? And I can actually take on multiple players too because of that blast radius. Again, something the Al Ming can't do. Let's do this. And this guy that's on the other side here. Let's do that. And there we go. So you can see how aggressive you can play this bot. A uh, very different uh, play style to the Ao Ming. And we're going to use this now. So you have two ways to do damage to a player, or players I should say. And we should be able to take this guy out. And even this uh, this Ao Jung, so I can actually hit this guy from above here I believe. Uh, with that blast radius. So uh, yeah, I just wanted to share those two clips with you. Uh, you know, showcasing the Ao Ming and the Arthur. And a couple of things to consider before purchasing your Titan. Um, I still think the Arthur is the best valued Titan at the moment. Um, it can pretty much do everything. And it's a lot of fun to play. And also it's cheaper than the Ao Ming. But you guys can let me know what you think is the best uh, Titan in the comment section down below. And as always, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. And if you haven't yet subscribed, consider subscribing. Until the next video. I'll catch you guys later.